Hi everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass the geometry regions. So we're doing this one question at a time. Here is question 34. A manufacturer is designing a new container for their chocolate covered almonds. The original container was a cylinder with a height of 18 centimeters and a diameter of 14 centimeters. The new container can be modeled by a rectangular prism with a square base and will contain the same amount of chocolate covered almonds. So we have the, we see that this is going to be a square base, so we know that these are going to be the same values all going all around over here and over here up top. And they contain the same amount of chocolate covered almonds. So that means it's going to have the same volume. So that's just like another way to save that. So just be aware of that. So now we're down here. Uh, let's see what else, what other information they're going to give us. If the new container's height is 16 centimeters, so this is the new container. So this is 16 centimeters. Determine and state to the nearest tenth of a centimeter the side length of the new container. So we want to find out the new side length of the new container if both containers the same amount of almonds. So to do this, we're going to need to find the volume of this cylinder, and then we're going to try and use that to figure out um, these two side lengths because they're going to have the same volume, right? So. So if we look at our volume of a cylinder, it's equal to pi r squared h. So if we see the diameter is 14, we know that the r, the radius, is half of that, which is 7 squared, times the height h, which is 18 centimeters. So if we plug this into our calculators, We're going to get 49 times 18, which gives us 882 pi. And we can also just estimate that. So if we multiply this times pi, we're going to get 2770.88472. OK. So that's the volume of the cylinder. And now to get the volume of a rectangular prism, We look at the length times the width times the height, right? So, so we know that the the height is 16 centimeters. We don't know the, the side lengths, these missing side lengths, but we know that these are the same because it's a square base. So we just are going to put x squared. And on the other side, the volume we know because they said that it's the same volume as the other container, right? So this is going to have the same volume as the cylinder. So we know we could just set this equal to 2770.88472. And then we could just do a little algebra and find the value of x. So divide this by 16. So you can even, so you can divide by 16 here and then you'll get 173.80.1802 9, 5 is equal to x squared. Take the square root of both sides. And we're left with x is equal to 13.1597984. So remember, if we go back and look at our question, they want it to the nearest tenth of a centimeter. So just knowing that, we can say this is equal to 13 point, that's one decimal place, so 13.2 centimeters. And that's our answer. So there is a second part to this question. So it was like part A and now we have part B. A store owner who sells the chocolate covered almonds displays them on a shelf. So let's draw out a shelf. So you know here's like a kind of a 3D view of a shelf and what that might look like. So the dimensions of the shelf are 80 centimeters long, so 80 centimeters this way, and 60 centimeters wide, so 60 centimeters this way. The shelf can only hold one layer of new containers when each new container sits on its square base. So that's like, as, so just imagine we're like placing these uh, containers onto this shelf and we're saying that we're not going to stack them, that they're just kind of, they're lined up next to each other perfectly on one layer. So 
So just imagine that each of these is this ch this box of almonds on this shelf. Uh, so we only have one layer, and when each new container sits on a square base, determine and state the maximum number of new containers the store owner can fit on the shelf. So we want to find out the maximum number we can fit on here. So so we want to know how many can go this way and and this way. So forward from side to side and from back to forward. So, so if, like if we were looking from a top view, how many, so let's say this is the shelf and we have a bird's eye view of it, we're looking down on the shelf and how many different, we wanna know how many different um, containers we can fit on here. So to find that, we're just gonna divide um, each dimension by uh, 13.2 centimeters because that's what x is equal to. So here, remember we found this before, 13.2 centimeters, and this is equal to 13.2 centimeters. So I don't know how many uh, we can fit along that. So let, let's do 60 divided by 13.2. When we do that, we'll get 4.5, but we can't have half of one falling off, so we're just gonna say we can have four. So that means going along here, we can have four boxes so that means we can have all the like these different rows going down they can only have four boxes we can't have a fifth one going along this way and if we do 80 centimeters divided by 13.2 we're going to get six like almost perfectly so that means we can have six of these columns so one two three four five six and and then, of course, each one of those can have four in each line. So now, um, how many are on the shelf here? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, times one, two, three, four. So if you do six times four, we're going to have 24. That's uh, possible chocolate covered almond cases, so 24 cases. And that's our answer for 34. Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions, link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating!